It's fast, it's hot, and it's cheap. Don't worry, we're talking about food. Yeah, and tonight, some say it's an industry that is devaluing workers to get you that value meal. So we wanted to know, uh, uh, does hearing their struggle make you ditch the drive through Maggie Vespa explains. Supersized protests peppered across the country. Family is depending on this, depending on this way. From Chicago to Seattle for fight. to the old Pueblo. Keep your burgers, keep your fries, make our wages supersized. The message, these employees can't live off fast food alone, or at least the paycheck it provides. Poverty wages don't work. All workers need to have a living wage. Poverty wages, they say, means minimum wage. On the federal level, it stands at $7.25. Living wages, more than double it to 15 bucks an hour. Not only can it be done, it should be done. And when we hit the streets, we found many of you agree. I think that if people are, are going to get what they need um, from an employer, you have to stand up for what you believe in. Even if that means a dollar menu becomes a thing of the past. I think they should go up a little bit, but that would be part of it. I don't think they have to go up a lot. Still, we met others who told us fast food or not, a job is a job. There's people out there that don't have a job, and a lot of people struggling without a job. You know, if you be happy with you got. Experts say these workers have a much better shot aiming the wage-raising efforts at the state level. Arizona's minimum wage stands at $7.80, up 15 cents from last year.